is going on guys, Jack here and welcome to Player Roles In Depth, the Football Manager 2014 series where we look at the newly announced player roles for Football Manager 2014, what they offer in game and how they've revolutionised modern football. Today's role is the False Nine, let's get straight into this. The False Nine is a role that was first used in football during the 1940s but became ever so prominent and popular due to Francesco Totti's success in the role during the 1990s. Utilised by teams who'd have a forward in the final third who would drop deep to receive the ball, this player is often associated and seen as a more advanced attacking midfielder, operating from a striker position but coming short during the creative phases of play in order to contribute to the attack. Two great examples of it in the history of football are Messi and, as I've already mentioned, Francesco Totti. Both these players at club level were the lead attacking threat for their sides, hanging around in the final third and coming short to get the ball. In coming short to get the ball, the false nine creates a dilemma for the centre-backs. Do they track back the player and leave space in behind, or do they stand off the player, giving them room to manoeuvre in, to either pick out a pass or dribble with the ball? The false nine is great for creating space in behind the defence for faster players to operate in. And I believe some of the key attributes associated with the false nine role within Football Manager 2014 will be the player's first touch, passing, composure, creativity, decisions, off the ball and teamwork. As well as strength and technique and dribbling which will allow the player to find space and opportunity when they do get the ball presented to them. For today's example of the false nine in action, we're going to be looking at how Totti operated for Roma during his prime. So Totti here identified with the star is the uh, false nine of this team. His job, unlike a traditional striker who'd normally sit on the final man, is to come deep to get the ball. What would happen is, Rome would build up play from deep and then Totti floats into this pocket of space here and receives the ball. From here you have G, E, E and F all bursting forward and these guys are there to support him in the attack. So when the ball does eventually find its way to Totti, he has four options ahead of him to pass to whilst I would hold the thought. With the false nine role, it's essential to have wingers who can cut inside and score, as these guys tend to be the highest kind of position players up the pitch, and it's vital that when playing off Totti, they're able to get into the final third and bury their own share of chances that Totti creates. Now the thing that makes a lone false nine role unique is simple. With a traditional deep lying forward within Football Manager, the forward would just come deep to get the ball and maybe flick it on to the striker behind him operating in this area here so the ball comes over he flicks it and it's a bit kind of schoolboy the thing when Totti gets the ball and when Totti played in this false nine and indeed Messi they don't have a man behind them they have to use their wits about them to create the space themselves now one of the great things about this false nine role is the fact that you're able to draw in the opposition defense here we have marked out a six-man defense here and what you'd like to see is as Totti the false knight is in float into this gap when he floats into this space he creates a huge dilemma for this team the thing is uh, F and G the two centre mids for the blue team here they cannot go to Totti because then they're leaving the central midfielders open for a pass at the same time the two centre backs are in an equally bleak situation neither one of them really wants to go to the ball because it just creates a big hole in the shape and this is where the false nine roll comes into play if C and B stand off Totti, who's the false nine, he has so much time to work in, and with all the players on rushing forward, it becomes such an easy chance for the red team to take. With G, E, F and H all bursting forward, there's a huge gaps and Totti can just simply pick out an easy pass. On the flip side, if they do choose to close him down, they're in an equally bleak situation because now the blue team's defensive shape is completely ruined. Totti receives the ball here and is able to just draw in one of the centre-backs or indeed two of the centre-backs and this creates space for the central midfielders to run into or more often than not the out players out wide who'd cut inside to run into. This is how the false nine works. It creates space, it distorts formations and creates space and it's very hard to play against it. As the defensive team, you've got one of two options. You can either choose to stand off the player, giving him space to work into, 
or you can close him down. And it's interesting to see how different teams operate this. Now, Chelsea are a great example of a team who've kind of risked it in a manner which I wouldn't condone nor use myself, but it worked for them against Barcelona and against Messi when they beat them in the Champions League. And what they did was, rather than kind of have to make the decision, do we close him down or not, they chose to park the bus. Now, people aren't going to condone this, but what Chelsea did was very clever. Because they sat so deep... The false nine, when he dropped in deep, was stuck because he was now surrounded by central midfielders in abundance. And Chelsea were more than happy because they were sat so deep and because they had faith in the defensive ability to allow the central midfielders of Barcelona uh, to have space on the ball. It was a great and interesting move by uh, Di Matteo, but one that certainly worked for them. On the flip side, the other tactic is to push high up the field. In doing this, you limit the space that the team operating the false nine have to work in, forcing them to rush the ball and theoretically perhaps be able to crowd out the central attacking midfielders and indeed the players within the centre of the park. The great thing about the false nine is it works in a variety of ways. The player can come shallow for the ball or they can be the lead scoring threat for a team. You only have to look at the fact that Barcelona, after Messi's kind of establishment as this kind of false nine role, uh, Barcelona went on to sell Samuel Eto and Ibrahimovic and I think it was last season Messi went to, on to get 70 odd goals from this position. So as well as being the player who drops deep for the ball, they're also also able to roam in the area. Whilst most of their uh, attacking threat comes in a vertical movement coming deep rather than dropping into a wide area, when the need be, this player can move with the ball in order to support. And when the ball is on the wings and being operated by the wingers, this player is more than capable of making bursting runs in the box to get on the back of corners. This is what makes this role so great. Whilst not a traditional striker who sits on the final man, this player is able to craft out opportunities for other players because of the space he has and because of the dilemmas he puts teams in. And it's a really hard player to completely man-mark or zonally mark out the game. I can't wait to see this role in Football Manager 2014. Whilst there has been the deep-lying forward role in the past, this has very much relied on there being another attacker higher up the field for this player to nod it onto. What the false nine offers is a unique role, allowing players to have a creative outlet in their team who is the highest man up the field. That wraps it up for today, I'm afraid, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like it. Let me know in the comments uh, kind of your take on this video, your take on this role, how you think you're going to be operating it. Uh, if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more of the player roles in depth series, you can click the link on screen. It will take you straight to the playlist containing all the videos covering the new player roles in Football Manager 2014. And other than that, thank you very much for watching, guys. It is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.